Peace and blessings, Mark the Messenger. This video is going to be about seven signs the devil has sent a counter for your way. This video is going to be very, very important and informing because you got to understand whenever you have a blessing coming your way, there's, the devil is always going to try to stop that. Also, this is not only geared towards relationship and friendships. This is also geared towards your ministry, the church you're going to. That's going to be about sign number six and things that I've dealt with too. So this video, let's get man. I'm so excited to make this video. Let's go, man. The number one sign. The devil sound like count, counterfeit. This is you have to know this, bro. You have to know this, okay? They always come to you first. Why does the counterfeit come to you first? Because they were sent by the devil. Okay, you gotta understand there's in the spiritual realm that we can't see with our physical eyes is God's kingdom and Satan's kingdom. Satan's kingdom is working overtime to try to stop you chosen ones, you God-fearing people, you people who you know who are doing the will of the most high. Satan's kingdom and his children and his his agents, these devils and demons. They're working overtime, and you got to work overtime too, okay? You got to have discernment. You have to operate in faith. You have to understand the signs are, you know, this, of spiritual warfare and how the devil's coming against you, especially when God has a blessing coming your way. So they always come to you first. Now, I got to always say this. This is to be common sense, you know? Not everyone who comes to you first is an agent. This is why you have to have discernment, and you only could discern the Spirit through, you know, the Holy Spirit, okay? So... Always keep that in mind. All right, so they come to you first. Be aware. One thing about what a counterfeit does, okay, they will force friendships, relationships on you, or especially, um, you know, when it comes to ministry, they're forced. You have to come to my church. You have you have to bow down and worship me. Pretty much, that's pretty much what they're saying. You have to come here. If you don't come here, you won't be saved. Oh, I had a lot of these people, and these people, they only come to you in your beginning of your walk because when you're beginning of your walk, you don't know the scriptures, so you could be easily deceived and swept away. Okay. And I, I didn't want to make this gears toward only friendships and relationships, and especially ministry, because like I said, there's a lot of times where these people came my way. I didn't know the word of God at the time, but thankfully through the Holy Spirit and God giving me the signs, because God's always giving you signs, always, all the time. But a lot of times people don't, actually, that's for number seven. I don't, I don't want to speak too fast. There's a reason why people can't see the signs. I'm going to speak about it in a little bit. All right, so to dissect the counterfeit, they always come to you first, and they will force a friendship and a relationship. Like I told you guys, Things are supposed to be organic when it comes to relationships, friendship, you know, just naturally fl flowing. When someone's just forcing you, forcing it upon you, okay, th this is a red flag. And these are signs that I've, when these counterfeits and these agents that were sent by the, the devil to come my way, I should have been able to discern. But through me going through my testimony, because it's all just a testimony, I could inform you guys to, you know, be able to discern these devils, okay, and these demons, all right? So keep that in mind. Like I said, guys, not everyone who comes to you first is always an agent, have discernment, but always keep that in mind when someone comes to you first and they're like forcing something upon you and they're making you feel weird or crazy because you're not following along their agenda, okay, or what they want for you, okay, just always use discernment. And if you guys ever feel like you're led to confusion, okay, you should start praying. And this is why I always tell you guys, a relationship, relationship over religion, okay? You want to have a relationship with the Most High, the Father, and the Son, Yeshua, or, you know, Jesus Christ, okay? So that's that should be the number one, because when you have a relationship with Him, God's always going to show you who's right and who's wrong for you, okay? You don't want to be lukewarm. You don't want to be double-minded, because if you are, you're not going to be able to see the signs, okay? Number two, the number two signs of a counterfeit is you will slowly get pulled away from God, okay? This is this is for, for friendships and relationships, okay? And that also could be in tune with ministry if you're they're giving you false doctrines and you know false you know false teachings, okay? But especially when it comes to friendships and relationships, uh, you're gonna find yourself drifting away from God because you're not focused on them. This is mostly for a friendship, okay, or a relationship. All right, so let's say you're really you know just like um, Samson and Delilah, right? Uh, and I know, I know 100%, I said that on the live stream I was doing uh, a couple days ago, how the God gave Samson the signs of Delilah, how, you know, she wasn't right for him, but he ignored the signs, and because he ignored the signs, his eyes got plucked out, okay? Um, all those things that could have been avoided, it all came and passed him because he didn't take heed to the signs, okay? So always take heed to, when, whenever you, you jump into a relationship, a friendship with someone, and you, you find yourself like uh, yourself being pulled away from God. That's what devils do. That's what agents do. Counterfeits do that. They want you to get pulled away from God. Now you're more deeper into your sin. Okay. And, and when you're more deeper into your sin, you feel like you're more, and you are more further away from God because that's what sin does. It separates you from him. Okay. So always keep that in mind. 
their their goal is to get you to be spirit to a spiritual death. Okay, for you to be spiritually dead, uh, not operating in the Holy Spirit, to be carnally minded, to be double minded. That's the whole goal of the, the the enemy. Okay, so always keep that in mind when some when you feel like someone, especially for you sisters who are in relationships. Whenever you feel like a man is, is pulling away from God, he's supposed to get you closer to God because the closest to God you will be is by being submitted to a man. It's all about order, okay? So whenever you see these signs right here, okay, this is this is an obvious sign. And there's a Bible verse that says, Proverbs, I'll leave verses all throughout the screen too. Uh, Proverbs chapter 14, verse 12 says, There is a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. There's two verses that say that in Proverbs, which, you know, if one wasn't enough because it's so true. There's many times where I thought I was on that right path, okay? I got into the right friendship, okay? Uh, the right relationship, but it was only the end of death, man, because that's how it is. This is how it is. This is why you got to move in wisdom, okay? Wisdom and knowledge. And the Bible even says that my people perish for lack of knowledge, okay? So always keep that in mind, all right? In Isaiah chapter 59, verse two, like I said, I'll leave verses off the screen. Um, sin, it separates you from the Father, okay? Number three is when the person gets you to backslide or go back into darkness, and then they will disappear, okay? This is something that I really, really know. It's not just with, with multiple people, okay? Whenever, like, remember, in the beginning, in the beginning stages, they force, they, they're forcing you to get with them. They're like, they will always, always hitting you up. But once you start to backslide, or once you start to find yourself in darkness and the deep pit of sin, and they just disappear. They're not there to help you back up. They, they want to know why? Because they, they, their, their mission by their handler, by the devil, okay, was already accomplished. So there's no need for you. And you got to always keep this in mind, too. Whatever mission, whatever assignment the devil gave them, just, just how God gave his soldiers, Okay, assignments. The devil gives his children, his soldiers, assignments too, okay? So whatever assignment the devil gave to destroy an individual, if they failed that assignment, they're going to be utterly casted away. I've seen this many times where these people, a couple years later, they were just messed up, man, because it failed. The assignment they had on me, on my life, okay? And we always keep this in mind. When you have a high calling from God, you got to expect the, high, the stronger attacks by the enemy, okay? Your attacks are going to be a lot stronger. And this is why it's the every day. It's a fight, man. And you got to love God with all your heart, all your mind, your body, and soul. If you do that, you're good, man. Okay, you got to obey his commandments, all right? So always keep this in mind. When they, when that when that agent, when that devil, and I put when the, when the person, let me just call it what it is. When the demon, man, these markers don't even last long these days, man. When the demon, all right, when, so when the demon gets you to backslide or go back into darkness, they were disappeared, okay? The mission, the agenda... It's already been accomplished. Now there's no need. Now they're going to the next person. They're not, now they're being a counterfeit to the next uh, child of God. Okay? This is spiritual warfare, bro. You got to understand that. All right. Always keep this in mind. There's so many times I'm like, where are you? Where are you? you know, where was that energy when you're forcing the friendship me, when you're always hitting me up? And all of a sudden now I'm down, down bad, you know, spiritually. And now they just disappear. You know, they're nowhere to be found. Okay, <laughs> these people were sent by the devil, bro. I'm telling y'all, man. And see, I could laugh now. But when I was going through it, you're gonna feel, and you know, you're gonna, you're gonna feel, you're gonna go through it, man. But look, you know, looking back, because I, I cling on to God, I never gave up, the, gave up the faith. Now I can look back and smile. It was all just a testimony, making me stronger, making me more wiser, and that's what's gonna do to you too. Okay. So number four is when God is preparing you for greater things. Like I always tell you guys, every new level there is a new devil. Okay. So when God's preparing for greater things. Devils will try to stop progress, okay? It even says this in Matthew chapter 4, verse 8 to 12, how even the devil, Satan, he tempted Christ. And this is before Christ was doing his work. So the devil came to Christ because he knew what Christ was about to do. He knew it before. He knew it all before. And the devil knows what God's about to give you, okay? The devil knew my channel was going to go viral. He knew that. So he sent all these devils, all these agents, and all weapons formed. They never prospered. Ha ha! It never prospered. Woo! Oh, give me a woo in the comment section, bro. <laughs> that felt good, man. All praise the most high. But the devil knew, okay? He knew Christ was about to do, he's about to, you know, save souls, okay? He knew that. And not just one, he was millions all throughout the world, okay? So he tried to tempt him. If you bow down and worship me, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, I'll give you this girl, I'll give you the, the Hennessy, I'll give you the blood, all that. <laughs> You know, he 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 bowed. He he wanted uh, Christ to bow down to him. Okay, so the devil knows when you're about to level up. The devil knows when you're about to progress. When you're about to advance in the kingdom of God, he knows that, and he's gonna try to stop that, man. So always understand this, okay? Now, let's say, for instance, 
there was a sin that was keeping you in bondage or like a stronghold that you overcame. And you feel, you feel strong in the spirit. And now, you, you now you're ready to work for God. You're ready to do big things. Okay, You have to prepare yourself for a counterfeit, a tear, a devil, a demon. You have to, man. You have to. And this is going to be, in, in, on this narrow path, this is going to happen many times. Because on the narrow path, you're always going to be leveling up. Your God's always going to be preparing you for uh, breakthroughs, for blessings, through your obedience. Because you were obedient to God. Okay, So always keep that in mind. The devils are going to pop up. They're going to pop up. They're going to reveal themselves. They're going to slander. They're going to hate. They're going to be jealous and envious. That's what they're going to do. That's what devils are going to do, okay? So always keep that in mind. I remember, but always keep this in mind, too, that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, okay? All these weapons that were formed against me, they actually just made me more stronger. Like I said, it's going to make me more stronger, more wiser, more knowledgeable, uh, a better understanding, okay? So keep that in mind, all right? Number five. Number five sign is God will always, always warn you via dreams, okay? Like I said earlier, uh, um, there's a Bible verse that says that my people perish for lack of knowledge, okay? It also says, the Bible says, uh, sorry, the, the Bible does say to be sober, okay? And the reason why you got to be sober, because if you're out here doing drugs, um, even like uh, smoking, okay, that could uh, close your penile gland, so you're not able to dream, okay? You notice how a lot of y'all, uh, especially when I used to do that stuff, I wasn't able to, uh, get, I, have, I, I remember there's a time period where I wasn't able to dream for like, two or three uh, years, bro, or longer. I don't remember any of my dreams. So this is why you gotta stay sober so you can see when God's trying to give you a dream. Okay, there's a reason why these drugs are being pushed on the mainstream, all these rappers are promoting it. Uh, you go outside, you see billboards. I live in California, so you see billboards all around. It's to get you asleep, to get you to stay asleep, okay? So always keep this in mind. God wants to warn you through your dreams, but if you're out here doing drugs, you're not being sober, okay? You're not being watchful, you know? The devil could come and, and God won't be able to give you that dream because you're out here defiling your, your temple, okay? This is why the Bible says our body is a temple. You're out here doing drugs and stuff. You could defile yourself and, you know, the Bible even says that God will destroy you, okay? So keep that in mind. God will always warn you via dreams. A lot of times, a lot of people don't like to listen. Just like how a child, if a child don't listen to the father, eventually the father says, all right, you know, you don't want to listen. You do your thing then, okay? So God will always, always warn you over and over again. All right, number six. Okay, ooh, man, like I said, this is for the ministry ones. This is for all y'all who are in the ministry, all y'all who are part of a church, or all, not, or not just that, maybe you just want to learn more about God. You just came into the faith. You just came into the truth. You start reading the Bible. Guys, you have to, you have to be watchful, okay? You have to, you have to understand that the devil is going to have these Pharisees, okay? A lot of these Hebrew Israelite camps, just a whole bunch of Pharisees, modern day Pharisees, and they don't understand. It's the same spirit that persecuted Christ. It's the same spirit working through them. And it's, it's all you chosen ones, they're, they're going to work through to persecute you too, okay? So the religious spirit, okay? They're going to hold on to the traditions of man. And one thing I noticed about when I first came into the truth, when I first came into the Bible, it's like, I had a Jehovah Witnesses knocking at my door. I had Mormons knocking at my door. I had a wave of all these religions. And keep in mind, this is all within a month. This didn't happen before. So this, this is how I know this. The devil saw my, my calling. He knew that God was waking me up. And here comes all these religions. And, you know, but even in the midst of all these deceptions, even people in Christianity, okay, try to control me, try to tell me that I can't be saved because I don't go to their church. It was just like blasphemy, bro, complete blasphemy. And this is what religious spirits do. They want to control you. And if you don't obey what they listen to, or if you don't follow what they listen to, they'll early cast you away, call you a bug out, all the all these type of things. So always keep this in mind. Always understand that the religious spirit, just because someone calls himself a Christian, a Hebrew Israelite, or any any of these, all these dominations, all okay, you know, always keep this in mind. This is why the Bible says to test the spirit, okay? Just because someone gives you, knows a lot of Bible scriptures, uh, you know, someone's a, uh, um, a pastor or a bishop or a deacon, it doesn't mean nothing, bro. It doesn't mean nothing, okay? If they're not aligned with, if they, they don't have the Holy Spirit within them, okay, it doesn't mean nothing, okay? So always keep this in mind. The deception is real. When you first, now, as you start to get age and more wisdom and mature, they don't come your way no more. This is how you know this is spiritual. The Jehovah Witnesses don't knock on my door no more. The Mormons don't knock on my door. Uh, none of them. None of them do, okay? Because the devil knows that. I, I already know the. I already know this. I already know the truth. I already know the Bible. They can't deceive me no more. Because when I was a first a baby in this truth, you know, I didn't really know the Word of God. I know a couple of scriptures, but I didn't really know much. I didn't know that all these other religions are in darkness. Okay, I had no idea about that. So thankfully, you know, as I started to study to show myself approved, okay, they can't deceive me. No, and the devil knows that, so he ain't gonna send those people my way. But for those of you who are new to the, the truth. 
you're gonna be you're gonna be swayed away by all these different doctrines, these different content creators that are, you're watching on YouTube or these churches that you're going to. Okay, this is why you must be led by the Spirit of Truth, whom the world can't receive because they see Him not, neither know Him. Okay, the Spirit of Truth is what's gonna keep you saved in these last times, man. And the Bible even says that God will give a strong delusion for those who receive not the love of the truth. Okay, so you want to have and seek the Holy Spirit with with all your with everything, man, with everything. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit, I recommend and, and and you should require to get baptized, number one, and pray and ask God the Father to, so he can give you the gift, all right? Number seven is God will send many signs, but only the chosen will see. I was talking about that earlier, okay? There's a Bible verse that says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 4, an adulterous, wicked generation seek after a sign, but no sign shall be given unto them, okay? So you're not going to be able to get these signs and see these signs if you're wicked, Okay? If you're of the devil, if you're of darkness, you're not trying to get right with God. Okay, not to say that you're going to be perfect without sin, but if you're not trying to get right with God, you're not trying to, you know, seek uh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness daily, you ain't trying to do that, okay? You're not going to be given these signs, okay? You're going to be swept away by the devil. And sometimes that could be God judging you, okay? Allow, allowing these counterfeits into your life to destroy you. It could be judgment because you rebelled against the truth, okay? You rebelled against the truth, man. You, you rejected Christ, you rejected his teachings. Okay, which will make you a bond of rock through his foundation. You rejected that. So sometimes God will allow the counterfeit in your life, okay? Or let's say if you if you need to get chastised, sometimes God will allow them into your life to humble you. Okay, so always keep in mind the wicked, they will they will look after many signs and the, the, the adulterous and adulterer, but no sign shall be given to them. Only the chosen. Only the chosen one. Matthew chapter 22, verse 14. Many are called, few are chosen. Only the chosen. We'll be able to see the signs. So I hope you guys got blessed by this message. These are seven signs the devil has sent a counterfeit, okay? If you haven't already, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel, share this video to all your friends and family. I love you guys so much. I'm out. Peace.